Welcome back, teacher. My name is John Wynn from Wynn Element. Our mission is to empower teachers to provide learning equity for all students. Raise your hand if it takes you more than five minutes just to take attendance. Now, it requires to take the engagement part of your attendance. So now it's gonna take us even forever to take attendance. In this video, we are going to show you how to take attendance very easily and very quickly, but also very accurately as well. So here we have our daily attendance where the students submit their own attendance. For example, in this case, we have our student log into this website and they submit their own attendance. So we don't have to do anything. And then all we have to do is just look through it very quickly, see every student check their attendance, and that takes less than 10 seconds. And this is what our students see on their end. They have to click Submit Attendance, and then they have to do it within the specific time frame that we preset for it, right? And this is the record that we have on our end as well. So notice how we have the student name that we can sort by first name and last name. And as you can see, we have the attendance of all the student records throughout the whole entire year. But most importantly, we can sort the student by their last name so we can submit on queue very easily. And for the engagement part, we are going to initially put every student that are present going to be engaged. And then we have an assignment that's auto graded, but also auto submitted. So that way, by the end of the day, any student who have not submitted, we change back to partially engaged. And of course, for the student who are absent, will be not engaged. So that's very easy. And this data will be here for you to access throughout the whole entire week. So now you can take attendance for engagement and the normal attendance with little mistakes and with little time. And as always, if you like this strategy, share with other teachers at your school or different school and talk to your administrator how you can make your life a lot easier but also provide learning equity for all students. And we'll see you next time on another strategy on another video.